welcome to today's video with Camp Corner Homestead. We've been heavily, heavily focusing on our channel with building just because that's like the stage that our homestead has been on is just trying to like develop our home. We're kind of in the midst of a building addition for the second floor. For those of you who are just jumping on, aren't sure what we're doing, we're building a second floor addition out of pallets. But we wanted to give you guys an update because we did something that was completely new to us. The pallet building is new to us, at least for a home. <laughs> Everything we do on this channel is new to us. Pretty much. <laughs> so that was new to us, but we did something even more that we weren't really planning on doing, which was like this mycelium straw insulation inside of our pallet. So we have that now all installed in our walls. And we wanted to sit down with you guys and just kind of let you guys know how it went. Yeah, give you guys kind of like the results, the raw, honest deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the insulation, we pulled down all of the walls, stacked them back up on top of each other with mycelium and straw stuffed into them. Waited two, three, three weeks. It was not growing quickly in 30 degree weather. Obviously we had a propane heater system and a tarp over it, so it was pretty, re you know, relatively warm, like 70 degrees in there, but the lower pallets weren't getting as much heat as the upper pallets. We had uh, mushroom, or <laughs> we had uh, mice invade the space because we were doing this outdoors, so they were eating the grain spawn, which kind of, you know, impeded the process. I only found maybe two or three spots where there was actually any kind of mold development. So in that way, the mycelium held up pretty incredibly well um, due to the, the soak that we did. We did a cold pasteurization. So what we did is we soaked it in a high pH water bath. So in total, I believe we have around 17 pallets that we need to um, absorb in this water for 24 hours. The idea is to soak them for 24 hours with lime and we'll be testing the pH. We're looking for a pH around 10. We got full video on all that. The process start to finish. What we're doing here today is we're just trying to give you guys a snapshot of the different steps, how some were more successful than others and what the final result was. So after cold pasteurization, that's when we put the grain spawn in and we started to inoculate the substrate, keeping the temps inside the tarp at uh, probably 70 degrees roughly. One of the things we would have done uh, to improve the growth of the mycelium would be to have had a mister or some sort of a steaming process so that there was more moisture in the air that was drying on the ends so after about two or three weeks of slow mushroom development we and, and fighting off mice and cold weather and tons of propane gas later, mm -hmm. we um, decided to just put them up and see what they were looking like. Yeah, so with our finish, finished result, we didn't get as much <laughs> of a, like, say, solid, compressed material as maybe we were envisioning that we knew was possible but um in general i would say we are pretty happy it did definitely bind the straw together so it is still a pretty solid held together form and the fact that it's held in here between these pallets and then we have chicken wire over it it's a really tend to think it's not going to go anywhere as far as settlement um obviously the true, true test will be over time. So yeah. I know everyone who's watching us currently, they're like, well, we want to see how it does over time in the environment that it's in. So that too is something we're just waiting on as well is over the years, how does it really do? And that's not something we'll know until time goes on. So the breakdown, how much did it cost? What was the damage? Okay, so in straw, we spent $50. Big bag of hydrate lime, $22. And then the oyster spawn, we spent $80 for that. 
And then because we had to heat a space, we purchased propane. Yeah, it was $130 roughly. Not a very feasible process to do late fall, early winter. Let's just no. put it that way. If you're wanting to save money, like it just didn't make sense. Like we would have been better off saving ourselves the money and the labor that we put into this and purchased some <laughs> yeah, insulation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if we were fun. to have done this in the summer, that would have cut down our costs and what don't, have you, it would have just been a nicer environment to work in and that would have cut our costs in half. So was it worth it? Not for this project. Yeah. <laughs> The fact that we had to tear the walls back down and put them back up, I would say alone was more labor than it was worth growing it. Yeah, you were pretty free. sick for like a week after it because he was like <laughs> physically exerting himself so hard in the freezing cold temperature, standing in this ice bath of water. It was quite miserable, not gonna lie. <laughs> so wouldn't do it again in hindsight. For this project, if we would have known it would have set us back three weeks and the amount of labor they were into, there was just, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I haven't given up on it, so there will be a future build with mushroom walls. Got our minds spinning for if we were to do this again, how we could cut the labor down tremendously. Using straw in pallets is super nice. Mm -hmm. And just taking chicken wire and attaching it to the outside once you've packed it is pretty easy way to go. Mm -hmm. I like it. I don't know, what else is there? I don't know. I mean... It's been quite a construction zone for quite a while, but there's benefits to construction zones. Yeah. We were fleshing, <laughs> yeah, we were fleshing some hides up here. We had our deer hanging from the ceiling, frozen. The rafters, or the scaffolding. Yeah, so we've been definitely making good use of this space throughout this project when we have a little break. So we're working on fleshing some deer hides, which I'm super curious to see how it's going to turn out. Check out that video. That will be coming Shortly, I'll maybe next. Yeah, that's probably gonna be a next week videos. My thoughts probably yeah. But it's our first time so yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't really yeah. know how yeah. the results will be yeah. Just like everything else on this channel huh? <laughs> Yeah, we're the ones we're the ones basically like if you guys watch us and we su are successful at it, you can be successful at it because it was our first time doing it so mm -hmm. We can do it. Anyone else can do it pretty much I'd say not many will try, but <laughs> not all. Good. <laughs> not all are crazy enough to try. That's for sure. Yeah. And then we also have our new toilet that's going to get installed tonight, and that's going to be pretty exciting. It's going to be a temporary install, but it'll do its job. We've uh, gone through what three different versions of toilets since we've been here. Oh yes, sometimes it's five gallon bucket underneath the stars. Um. We did like our separate. That was pretty nice. Yeah, we had a separate that started out in the van and we moved it into the house. We really liked that. Um, right now we just have like a pallet uh, outhouse that we built, but we're gonna be using that for our laundry space now this winter. We're coming up with a solution for the freezing situation. Um, though we've been kind of just carrying little small totes to the animals, that's getting a little bit too exhausting. They're 50 pounds each every day so we're going to bring a 55 gallon in close to the hyper adobe and we're hoping that the thermal mass of the hyper adobe plus a little insulated bump out is going to keep that from freezing on these like negative temp days so yeah we have a lot of things we're trying to develop at once keep everybody alive and warm that's the main goal for this winter and yep. then uh hopefully we'll well the main goal for this winter is Little baby. Yeah, get healthy. Yeah. Get a nice little space for our next little baby. Alright. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. As always. Well, make sure you subscribe.